just, just like to make a comment, as, as a planner, I see increasingly that the politicians and the public are starting to expect this kind of thing built into developments. And quite frankly, I think uh, planners are a little bit behind the eight ball on this. I think the developers and the, and the public are, actually, I, I think, are a little bit ahead of, ahead of us. So we're we're trying to catch up, and it, and I think we're um, increasingly advising people that we need you know, that we need this kind of stuff in their applications when they come forward. Um, but we don't have a very good way of um, determining what's an appropriate response. And, and I think the water, water um, balance model is a great way of doing that. We have a, a measurable way of determining <coughs> what, it, what is a good solution to a particular site. And I think there's real value in that. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you, if you do this, that your project's going to get approved. There's all sorts of other things that enter into a land use decision. But showing that you're dealing with your, your rainwater responsibly is, is a very important part of a, development application, I think there's real value in uh, incorporating that into 